everyone welcome back to my channel so today I decided to do a look that was compatible for green eyes um, I actually really like this look it's also kind of for the holidays as well so if you like this look please keep watching so I'm starting off with my face already done I'm gonna list all the products below and I'm going in with Mac soft ochre paint pot and I am just setting it with um, this shade right here from the morphe 35o palette And I used a Sigma E60 brush. And now I'm going in with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. And I'm using that with a M433 Morphe brush. I'm just going back and forth. This is just going to be our transition color. And now I'm going in just to darken it a little bit um, with uh, Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. And I'm using the same M433 brush. And just buff it all out. So now I'm going in with this um, shade from the Morphe 35O palette and I'm using a Morphe M139. I'm just kind of deepening the crease and again this look is going to be more round shaped so we're just really going round on the eyes. So just really follow if you have more round eyes just really follow the natural um, shape of your eye and just buffing out so now I'm going in with this kind of dark kind of red coppery shade and I'm just applying that all over the lid and I'm using the Sigma E60 brush again and I'm just putting that as kind of like a base just for the shadow that we're going to put on top So I'm going in with this shade from the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going in with a Morphe 506 brush and just really getting it right in the crease and just blending the last shade that we just put on in with this dark shade. And again the blender brush that I'm using is the M433 from Morphe. I actually really like that brush. I hadn't tried it until recently and I really enjoy it. So that's a good one to pick up if you're looking for um, an eyeshadow blending brush. So now I'm going in with this shade and I'm spraying it with Fix Plus just to make it a little bit more metallic and I'm just putting that over top of the last kind of copper shadow that we had on. Just to kind of intensify it, just to give a little bit of pop of shimmery holidayness, because that's where we're going with this look today. And I'm using the same um, E60 Sigma brush and just blending with the M506. So now I'm going in with that dark shade again and I'm using a True Fiction flat precision brush and I'm just gonna kind of smoke out my bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with Creme Brulee that we used on the top um, crease. And I'm just gonna kinda blend that shadow out a little bit, just like how we do on the top of the eye. And I'm just kind of making it seamless. And now I'm gonna go back in just kinda to darken it a little bit more because some of the color got lost. So now I'm going in with MAC and Nylon and I'm just um, highlighting the inner corner. And this is just like a small lip brush, but you can use any brush that you like. Just a flat synthetic brush is the best to apply. So I'm taking um, NARS, and I always say it wrong, Rue Bonaparte, but I could be wrong with that, and I'm just going in the waterline with that. So I'm taking MAC Nylon again, and I'm using the same lip brush, and I'm just highlighting my brow bone. So we're going in with MAC, uh, no not MAC, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer because it's my favorite. I'm just bronzing up the skin. So again I'm just going around the perimeters of my face just to kind of to bronze and to kind of contour a little bit. Oh and what brush am I using? I am using a True Fiction 902 brush. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Just kind of contouring my cheeks a little bit. The same other side. So now I'm going in with a, another True Fiction brush and I'm just contouring my nose. It's one of my favorite brushes for contouring my nose. Works so well. So then I'm gonna take um, the MAC Mineralized Foundation and it's a loose powder in extra light. And I'm just using my powder puff and I'm just kind of sharpening my contour a little bit and just highlighting the top of my nose. So I'm taking, um, what is this? Anastasia Contour Kit in Peaches or Peachy. And I'm just using a True Fiction 906 brush and I'm just kind of buffing that in. I'm getting rid of the powder now. So I'm going on to highlighting and I'm using a flat foundation brush and I'm using the Benefit Watts Up highlight. And I say that wrong every time and I didn't this time, woohoo. And then I, so I put a cream highlight underneath just to kind of amplify it a little bit. And then now I'm putting in on the Laura Mercier Highlight 01 with a M501 brush. So I put on Ardell Lashes in the Demi Wispies. And then now I'm just using the Buxom Blackest Black Mascara. I'm almost out of this stuff. I need to go get some more. I like these eyelashes for when you're doing a look and you just want to have the eyeshadow the main focus this way it doesn't like it's it looks more natural like lots of people think that they're actually eyelash extensions when you wear these lashes but they're one of my favorite eyelashes I put them on pretty much all of my brides and it works every time and they're cheap which works out well So now I'm going in with MAC Subculture Lip Liner, and this lip liner is like pretty much the exact same color as my lips. So I thought it was going to be a little bit darker, but whatever, what can you do? So I'm just lining my lips. And then now I'm going in with MAC French Twist. Unfortunately, this is a limited edition color, which I really, really love it. It's one of my favorites. And it's nice and light for us light-skinned people. And I just wanted to kind of make it a little bit more pale, so I'm going in with um, the Milk Jumbo Liner by NYX. And then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Highlight and just apply that right in the center, just for a little bit of pop of, like, kind of contour the lips. And then now I'm trying to take a selfie and that is all work it. And thank you again so much for watching. Please like, and subscribe and I'll see you super soon. Thank you.